What is up? We are back with Pogo DCG Gamer vs. Tricking. And we will rewatch. He brought some heat, he leads up with Kyurem. Switches out on a Draco Meteor to Jirachi. I assume it's gonna be Spadef. Actually, that looks like. Yeah, yeah, that looks like Spadef Rachi. Not 100% sure if it's Max Spadef, but it has some sort of Spadef investment. It's a nice U turn there. So I assume it's gonna be healing with Jirachi, Scarf, Mian Chao. Mian Chao is gonna go for U turn here to keep the momentum or get the kill on the Starmie. <clears throat> So yeah, this is like, mm. Poker DCG game has team already won the week, so the game doesn't matter, but still nice to see him play. Tricking brought a Boswell and Mega Pidgeot. He brought the Pidgeot in week one as well. Was this easy? But yeah, I just finished recording ADF test versus... Yeah, I get some Iron Bob's damage there on the obvious U-turn. I assume this is gonna be Reckless Mincha with Scarf, Stone Edge, U-turn, High Jump Kick, and... I don't know what's in the last slot. But yeah, I could see the, um... Curum come out, cause Sub-Zero Slammer can pick off the kill, potentially. Other than that, I could see HP Fire Ladios or um, come out, or Landris come out and set up rocks, or um, Toxpex come out and set up a T Spike, or just Fish for a Scald Burn, something along those lines. But yeah, Toxpex is, gets spawned on by Starmie, so I guess it doesn't do that much. But like, if you go Pex, you get up a T Spike, and, and just the turn that you get up a T Spike, Ferrison gets up a Hazard as well. You can then double out on the next turn, break the Starmie and like pressure the Starmie so it doesn't get the spin for free. Cause like Starmie is kinda nice to get rid of T-Spikes cause it has natural cure so even if it gets poisoned by T-Spikes it can spin it can spin them away and then switch out and get rid of the poison. So it's like kinda cool in that way. A Starm Starmie would actually be a really cool spinner if it was a bit bulkier and obviously when Greninja gets banned it's gonna be better. But yeah, he might be HP Fire or just Sub-Zero Slam at his Ferrothorn. We will see. Yeah, he goes for the Z move. I assume this is gonna be the um, Z freeze shock and blows the Ferrozone away. So it's probably a max attack hero. The Jirachi is kind of obvious here, so we will see if Tricking predicts that. So he just predicted go for HP fire, cool play. I think this could be Spex Latios. Not sure if it is, but like some sort of boosting item because that is a good chunk. I think it's Specs, yeah. But yeah, the Jirachi can... Uh, the the Tox Specs is so obvious here. Yeah. Um, Poké DCG Gamer might stay in and go for U-turn predicting, tricking to predict the Tox Specs. Yeah, I want to collect that real quick. Spadef Jirachi versus Latios. Oh, your choice. Specs in Power Fighters 36 to 42. I did 41, so I assume, yeah, this is Spadef Jirachi, this is Specs Lati. Other options here is... um. Curum can come out here. Because if if Tricking put it to Toxapex, what would he go to? Maybe a Boswell as a substitute with enough with enough bulk to set up a sub on the Toxapex. But yeah, he goes Ladios, which is also a cool play, would have um, covered the Boswell. If he has Surf on his Ladios, he can go for a breaking the heat train. But I assume this is going to be um, Soldu or Specs Lari. As that is Specs, good lord, 52%. So they both have a Specs Lari, really cool. I see you with your double dragon core, my man. That's definitely. Like, those two mons, they definitely don't want to switch in. Like, scary, scary mons. Tricking can um, set up his rocks here. Assume he's rocks on Tran, spikes on Pharaoh. He could also be double hazard, Pharaoh Thorn, and Torn 3 attacks on Heatran. And I think this is Z move Heatran because we don't see leftovers. It could be Shed Shell, it could be Z move. Assume it's Z move. Uh, Bloom Doom, yeah. 
So that way he gets rid of Tapu Fini, because Tapu Fini checks his Buzzwool. That kind of makes me think that he doesn't have Poison Jab on his Buzzwool. As a minus two Draco Meteor still has a good chunk to the Heatran. And he goes for Fire Blast, which... Which is odd. You usually see that on Scarf Tran. Or on Spex Tran. Um, Latios. Um, mo mostly on Scarf Tran, you see. Um, I already had Lai in the calculator. But let's say Offensive Heat Tran. Let my stun does 25. How much does Fire Blast do? I don't want to miss any turns. Fire Blast did 31. Twenty-seven to thirty-two, so it's just a timid max special attack to and it's not specs or anything here. Yeah, specs would obviously do more. So he goes Toxapex, gets bopped by an off power, but still avoids the two hit KO. So uh, Fire Blast or uh, Magma Storm is interesting. I think it's a little bit stronger. You can data that real quick. I think Magma Storm is like base one hundred or something. Yeah, Magma Storm is one hundred and uh, Fire Blast is one hundred ten. As he goes for the Z Bloom Doom, oh Z in front of Overdrive, that did nothing. That did jack. That did zero. I thought he went. I thought he would want to go for Bloom Doom, but probably Bloom Doom also wouldn't have killed because this is some sort of Spadef packs to like check Ash Greninja. Like this is just Poké. This is G's Gamer Greninja check. It also checks Protein Greninja. They don't really run. They run extra sensory sometimes, but it's not that all common. But yeah, he pivots into Jirachi on the he in the Hurricane back into packs on the Heat Wave, which is a really good play. And we see work up um, Pidgeot, which is pretty interesting. So he's gonna go for either Toxic or Skull here. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, Haze, Haze is another option, but I thought he wouldn't go for Haze. Because, like, I thought he just wants the Toxic or the potential burn on this. So he gets some residual. But yeah, the thing with, this thing runs Refresh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I completely agree with Hazing. This Pidgeot runs Refresh, so there's, like, no point in going for Toxic if he has it. You might just go for Hurricane... Hurricane might just kill this Jirachi though. But yeah, he goes for Heat Wave. Picks up the kill. And now he can go into something like Scarf Mian Chao. I think he can go to Mian Chao and click High Jump Kick. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. Mian Chao gets walled by Buzzwall, so you don't want to do that. I mean, yeah, you, I think you have to go Mian Chao to scare this out. If not, Kieran might also live a hit, but I think Mian Xiao is the play here. So you scared us out with a Stone Edge slash High Jump Kick, and I think you U-turn on the Buzz Wall. Yeah, I think you I think you have to U-turn here. It's a risky play, but like, actually, Pokédex Gamer is up 5 and 4, so maybe he doesn't have to make that aggressive play. I would probably make the aggressive play here. Um, if I was on the ladder, I would 100% just high jump kick, attack this thing that's in front of me. I mean, I would Kalk if high jump kick kills. If not, I would go for Stone Edge. But yeah, this is not the ladder, this is a tournament game, and the buzzword is like in the back to like come in on this. But yeah, I could also see tricking, try to predict the U turn here. Then again, Pokédex Gamer doesn't have a reason to play aggressive since he has one more, like I said. But yeah, I could see a double switch here from, tr from tricking into Pidgeot. Yeah, okay, into Ladios. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So this is Specs Ladios and can easily kill this Landris with a Draco slash Surf might even kill. Did he have rocks on Jirachi? Jirachi used U turn. We don't know yet. This Landris could be smacked on Earth Blade to like apply pressure with a stall or Feather builds, but he also has those already has those two mons to do like some put some pressure on Feather teams. So like this might be Rocks Landris and Jirachi could be U-turn Iron Head, Wish Protect or if it's not Wish Protect, okay, he just sacks off the Landris. Yeah, Tricking played that well, but I feel like that was pretty obvious that he would double out his Buzzwool, even though I thought he would double into the Pidgeot instead of the Ladi. Like, this Dirachi could be Wish Protect and Rocks on Landris, but... Um, yeah, the U-turn was pretty obvious there. And now Ladios pretty much gets a kill. Like, this is just whoever gets the Ladios and gets a kill. Like, Spex Ladi showing why it's a threat. 
You can click drag immediately and something drops as long as he hits. Yeah, this is this is refreshing. This is a shorter game. We are ten minutes in. So ten minutes in, it feels like we're only two minutes in. Because yeah, the last game I recorded was like fifty minutes. <laughs> I mean, he can also go to Kieran, but I think Ladios had Ladios has less switch ins like. Yeah, yeah, Kurum also doesn't have switch ins, but like Draco is like a guaranteed kill as long as it hits. The only reason you don't click Psyshock is because. Oh, it's Scarf Buzzwall! Oh my god! Oh my god, I did not consider that. Okay, that's my fault, that's my fault. You always have to consider some heat like that in the OUPL. Oh lord. How does he do it? What the fuck? I mean, yeah, his team is kind of slow. I don't know why I did not consider that. But, like, his team is weak to work around. I like, what? He has to rely on Lali to check Volk, I think, on Heat Trend. So, like, if it's HP ground Volk Rona. Maybe Poker DG Gamer doesn't use Heat um, Volk Rona that often. But, yeah, I did not expect that. I know Scarf Boswell is like a set that people don't really expect and that it's used sometimes on the ladder but it just caught me off guard to be a double to no Mian Xiao, he's gonna... I, I wanna know if Knockoff has a chance to kill this Ladios if he has Knockoff on Mian Xiao. Uh, Knockoff does 82 to 98 so it doesn't kill so he's just gonna U-turn Yep. So Tricking decided to keep his Ladios healthy and he goes on a Scarf Buzzwall. This could have Earthquake but it's gonna bounce off the packs because it's just a Scarf Buzzwall. You can go into Pidgeot for free here, but Lad yeah, Ladios works too. Gets up a T-Spike. But yeah, this looks um, pretty good for Tricking. I assume he's gonna go for Recover to Scarf what the Ladios locks itself into, exactly. but. Tricking played as well, but I can. Um, like Poké GG game, I didn't have to win. I don't know if he would have played different if he would have to win. Like I don't know if he would have brought this exact same team if he still had to win for his team. I think his team was up five and two before this, so they already clutched a week. I'll check the thread after again. I don't want to say anything wrong. Yup, yup, they already won the week. He goes Kyurem on a side shot. Maybe he's um, bulky and he can avoid a tweet kill, but now he can't, so he has to sack off his Kyurem. Yeah, he can go for U-turn with Mancha or knockoff, but it's not gonna matter. At all. Pidgeot can. I can see the haste coming out here, but actually. Hmm. Hey, spam doesn't do anything here. Yeah. Okay, so he just scalds. But yeah, now I can see the haze coming out. Actually, no, the, the pitcher is gonna go for refresh since he got the burn. But he just goes for hurricane and this game is over. But yeah, at least, at least he brought, they both brought interesting and cool teams and this is refreshing. Like, I like this game. But yeah, <laughs> I would never have... Like, yeah, his team is slow, but like, Boswell is not a fast Scarf, I would have, I did not see that coming. It's only 79 base speed. But yes, um, cool team by both players. And yeah. Pidgeot, Pidgeot puts in a lot of work this game, so... I don't know if I put Boswell or Pidgeot in the sun, it probably... Buzzwall, because that scarf caught me off guard, like so. Like, that was cool to see. But yeah, I also like the double dragon core and the scarf means you just like a heat ish mon. You don't see too, see too often. Even though NGMP posted like a team in the sample thread. I think it's a many bright cream team that someone used last week in OUPL, if I recall correctly. Maybe I'm mistaken here, but I know that someone used a Mian Shell last week. I just don't know which team it was. 
But yeah, the BBC Kings take this week with a um, 5-3, I think. And what we have left here is... <laughs> the, the score between the um, Bengay and Zomax team versus... I think this is P2's team. The score should be... 4 and 2 at the moment. I don't know if the black and white or DPP games have been played yet. But yeah, I'm going to be covering the Chrome versus Lighthouses game if I'm going to be able to. And yeah, and actually, where's Blunder's team at? Oh yeah, Blunder's team is the Twin Leaf Thunder. I think they lost this week, yeah. And yeah, this uh, Antif team versus... I forgot who manages this team. There's like uh, there's like the most games left in this series, so I'll see what I can bring you from that. But yeah, this was a really cool series, a uh, cool game. Repeating myself, but it's true, so I have to thank you guys for watching, and I'm 100% sure that Poker DGG Gamer will bounce back. Um, kinda hard for Circuit Round 13 when that comes out, I wanna record this game for that. So I'm gonna be able to, and Doc signing out, thank you guys for watching. Peace.